We're back, and today's show is all about breakfast. I think that's one of the most overlooked meals. It can be so boring. Well, let me tell you, today's recipes are going to wow everybody. We're just getting this whole breakfast party started. Wait till you see what we're making coming up. A tiramisu smoothie, uh, a ham and cheese, egg braid, and I am super excited about a croissant egg bake. But right now, if you don't want to cook breakfast, you want it actually um, made for you, we're going to check into a local B&B that is just magical. It's called the Roost Bed and Breakfast, and it's not too far away, right in Appleton. Check it out. We bought the Roost Bed and Breakfast in April of 2006, so we've been here four years, going on our fifth year, and uh, we've really enjoyed it. We've enjoyed meeting all the people and being able to make them breakfast and uh, just conversing with them. Well, the house was built in 1981, and it was completely renovated in 2002-2003. Um, we, uh, we liked it because it was um, different than a uh, renovated Victorian. It's more of a French country, Tuscany feel, and all the work was done on the renovation. So it was just come in and open the doors and start business. The meadow is um, kind of a country feel. It has a lot of yellows and oranges in it, and all of our rooms have the fireplace and whirlpool jacuzzi tub, along with a two-person shower, and of course a private bath attached to each room. Uh, the tapestry room has the high bed where you walk up two steps up to the bed, which is kind of nice. People kind of like that, something different. And then the uh, sage room has the whirlpool tub in the bathroom rather than in the bedroom. Um, some people prefer that just for maybe privacy or something like that. Um, then the hunt room is done in deep red and golds. It's our largest room on that side of the house. Um, and then we have our Bella Suite, which was actually the master bedroom, and we converted it to a guest room. And that's over 750 square feet. has a fireplace uh, 15 feet high, stone fireplace and a sitting area, and we actually serve breakfast up in that room. The other four rooms come down to the dining room for breakfast, but the Bella, we take breakfast up there. When you, uh, when company or guests come, uh, we take them into the gathering room, and that's where we register them. They do have to fill out a card um, for registration, just like you do like in a hotel. And uh, we offer them a glass of wine, a complimentary wine when they check in. And then we show them up to their room, kind of explain the different features of the room, and um, tell them about the DVD library that we have for their use. And also, we always have fresh cookies at the top of the stairs. That is never ending, so they can eat as many as they want. And they do. It's empty quite a bit of the time. And, um, and then we give them a key you know, to the house so they can come and go. Some people think that there's like a curfew We've had, you know, people ask that, and um, there isn't. You know, they just come and go as they please. And they also use the backyard a lot, the gazebo. We've had people, um, you know, just get like a little picnic lunch and go in there and have lunch or a little dinner or something. We're in a residential neighborhood, and that always is a surprise to our guests because most bed and breakfasts are usually centered around the main street of the town because that's where usually the older, bigger homes always were. And this being in a residential area, they just, um, they follow their GPS to our house and then they're, they're just always amazed at, um, that it is in a residential area. And, but they like the feel of it because when you're sitting out in the gazebo, we have all the trees around and they feel like they're still out in the woods somewhere. So um, they really enjoy that. 